close your eyes and watch your breath. Anything else that comes through right now, you don't have to pay any attention. You want to focus on what you're doing right now, because that's what's shaping your life. And so right now you want to make sure the mind is focused. You want to make sure the mind is still. You remember to stay with the breath, and then you watch the breath. Adjust it so it's comfortable, so it's a good place to stay. Because this gives you a good foundation. We need a foundation in our lives because the waves of the world blow us around all the time. You turn on the TV and they tell you lots of things that you should be doing. You turn on the internet and you've got all kinds of things out there. And if your mind is the least bit susceptible to that kind of stuff, who knows where you're going to end up. This is why it's good to have a good foundation inside. They talk about having conviction in the Buddha's awakening as an important strength for the mind. What does that mean? It means that we believe there's someone who was able to find true happiness by training the mind. And that the qualities he developed are qualities that anybody can develop. We all have them in a potential form. So having conviction in the Buddha's awakening turns around and has us conviction, gives us conviction in our own ability to shape our lives. That's why it's a strength. Otherwise you go around looking for somebody else to solve your problem, either another person or some god someplace, placing all your hopes on them. But nobody else can make you happy because you realize that the reason you're unhappy is because of the unskillful way the mind is dealing with things. And nobody else can make you skillful. You're the one who has to develop the skill on your own. But you can. That's where the confidence comes in. It's not just the Buddha. After all, the Buddha started out unawakened just like us. He was a human being. He was born from ignorance. He was born from craving. But he was able to overcome the ignorance and craving by change, changing his mind, training his mind. We can do that, too. And every step we take in that direction is a step well taken. It's not wasted. So when you have this kind of conviction, then when you look at the choices that you face in life, you realize, okay, these choices really do make a difference. What someone else may be doing someplace else may have an impact on your life, but the real impact on the, their life is what you're choosing to do and say and think right now. That shapes everything now and on into the future. So when you have conviction that the Buddha was able to find his way out of this mess, and all the people he taught and followed his teachings were able to find their way out of this mess, well, we can do that too. But we have to be very careful about what we do, and we have to be coming from a good place of solidity. This is why we train the mind to be with the breath. This gives us a solid place that helps us remember. Every time you breathe in, you now remember, okay, remember what the Buddha said, We're getting the Buddha into our breath. This is why in some traditions they have you repeat, Bhutto, Bhutto, with the breath coming in, going out. So each time you feel the breath, you think of the Buddha, think of his teachings, think of his example. And this gives you strength to live your life well.